two so two little little scrubs that I got locked up. They get out today, so they try and get me, so I'm gonna need some protection. Hey, can I kiss her? That's you, boy? Hey, where you been? Get your ass from the Yeah, yeah, where you been? Got him. Hey, where you from? Hey, man, bro, you know I'm from the west side, man. Bro, man, don't get Man, ice this head word. Oh, go. Yo, Bert, we got a file. Two more murder cases. Double more murder? Yep. King Kuta. Unspecified. Right, let's get to work. What do we have here? Yeah. We got a ball hole to the neck. Yes. Probably died around like 1 p.m. Alright, and the other one over there? I didn't look at him yet. No, it seems to have a few ball holes in him. Any holes? Nice, Alright. I guess we're gonna have to take this place up and yep. talk to the office. What up, B? What up, Bob Blozy? How you been, bro? Shut up, shut up. So, um, after the last news, I don't really trust nobody, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you, bro. That was something. That was messed up, man. You know you're my dog, but. I had to do it, bro. Watch it. Got another dead body. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. No pulse? No pulse. Alright, we gotta take this place off. Quick, body. We got a footprint. Supposed to be walking in this direction. Put kind of a about a size 13 shoe. Let's see if we can find more. Yeah. Let's see if he's just gonna kill it. Yeah. Time and cause of death. The patient died around 1 p.m. on May 12th. Um, according to the ballistics test, it shows that he received a gunshot trauma to the head, and the validity shows the time of death. Yeah, but you did it. You got any stuff on life? Nah, y'all get phone calls when you go, homie. 